you want to collect the best out of Seaport Village and put it into the new Seaport San Diego. Improving Seaport Village. You're looking at an artist rendering there. The plan includes a 500 foot observation tower. You can kind of see it there in the middle. New retail and restaurant space. Let's get to ABC 10 News reporter Marie Coronel who joins us live from Seaport Village this morning. Marie, Port Commissioner is set to review the ideas today, but there are some concerns that stem from the fact a fault line runs run under that area. Yeah, Virginia, it's a challenge that developers say they have been working on. They uh, they've already spent millions of dollars in research to try and find a way to safely build around it. It's something that does exist. It's something we have to work around and a whole design has been done to keep people safe and to keep structures away from the fault. The group looking to redevelop the Seaport Village area says they have checked in with national engineering experts and have met with the city to make sure their plans pass codes as they work around the earthquake fault line in this area. This project, which is expected to cost more than $3 billion, will feature a new aquarium, an iconic tower with observation decks, a host of new restaurants and shops. There are also plans to build an indoor concert venue, plus a range of hospitality options from hostels to five-star hotels. We really want to make sure that this isn't just a place for certain members of our community, but it will be comfortable whether you come from La Jolla, Barrio Logan, City Heights. So the developers will present this plan to the Port of San Diego later today. And in this process, the public will get the opportunity to weigh in on this proposal. Live from Seaport Village this morning, Marie Coronel, ABC 10 News.